Oh. Yo, the lane. Ooh, ooh. It's kind of nasty. Around six o'clock, hop up in the whip and hit the bank shop. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on worms, cook some waste. Pull up to the lake, trying to find a spot. This brain said they biting by the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. What is poppin', y'all? Welcome back to another episode of It Gets Real. It's your boy, B the Flossy Fisherman. And today, man, we're back in Redwood City, trying to fish for some stripers and, of course, some stingrays. Still trying to get that stingray catch and cook for y'all. So that's why we out here, man. The tide is going out, so the fish are going out along with it. That's why we're here at this time. It's about like 6.30 at night. Um, but yeah. Man, stay tuned, see what it do. See if we can't hook up on something. It is. <laughs> I don't know if he's a keeper. Oh, might be. Might be. Oh, he'll, oh, he'll keep. Yep. Oh, 19 on the dizzy. All right. Good Got job. a keeper, man. <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. Keeper striker. So when you don't feel like dealing with gutting the fish, deheading the fish, just fillet it. So now we got some good fillets. And um, I hate scaling fish, so that's why I did it this way. There you go.
There we go. Striper fillets. I don't know if we're going to bake them, fry them yet. We're going to look up a quick recipe. Yep, yep. Boneless. No skin. Rest to go. So, yeah, man, we trying something new. You know, I've had striped bass baked. Even had it like deep fried, but I never had it breaded fried. So we're going to use none other than that Cajun crispy fish fry. You got to make sure that your fish is dry. So we got some pretty cool size fillets. Boneless. Like I said, man, I do not like scaling fish. So that's why we filleted that striper like that. And yeah, yep. we use a little bit of canola oil. Mm -hmm. right there like I said I, I'm not much of a chef I don't really get down in the kitchen like that but um you know I dibble and dabble a little bit but I really do like that Louisiana fish fry so like I said it, it coats it so lightly it's very light that striper meat man I'm out. But I promise y'all on the next one, the next catchy cook I do, I'm gonna do something different. Don't know what it is I'm gonna catch yet, but I'm gonna do something different. You know, because when you use this fish fry, man, I mean it almost makes everything taste the same. I mean everything that I've cooked with it almost kinda has that same flavor and it has to do with that Cajun seasoning. But it's bomb though, it's bomb. No complaints over here, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, you know. But yeah, here it goes. I'm uh, join, I guess you could call this a mukbang, you know. I guess since that's a new way, a new movement, this is a, uh, get, it gets real, catch and cook, and mukbang. Yeah, so here it goes. Yup. Striper is legit, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See, I would buy this. Fish and chip spot. I would buy this. I don't know why you don't see striper, striped bass at the fish and chip spots as an option, but. Damn. Mm hmm. Off the chain. Like I said, man, I had to do it fillet style. It's no bones, no scales. I hate scaling fish. Especially these stripers, man. I mean, they got a ton of scales. And it gets messy. And sometimes you don't even get all of them. So, fillet is the way to go with me. Thank y'all for staying tuned and watching another episode of It Gets Real. Like, share, 
comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss another episode of It Gets Real. And uh, follow us on Instagram at It Gets Real Fishing and on Facebook at It Gets Real Fishing. And now on TikTok at It Gets Real. And uh, go to itgetsreal.com. Search up some of this fly merch. And yeah, man. Until the next one, man. Y'all be cool. Y'all be blessed. Peace.